It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. This is the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Uh, my guy Wax is here. Yeah. Andrew is out today. Okay. Taylor Gang is here. But um, we got a show to do, man. And this today's episode is brought to you by Freeze Pipe, makers of the smoothest hitting pipes and bongs around. Today's episode is brought to you by Freeze Pipe. Each Freeze Pipe product uses freezable glycerin chambers that cool smoke by hundreds of degrees. Pop one of these glycerin chambers in the freezer for one hour and the smoke passes through the icy chamber. It's instantly chilled for a bigger, colder, and smoother hit. Say goodbye to throw the chest burn. Freeze Pipe offers a luxury smoking experience at everyday great prices. If you're tired of burning throats or coughing too much when you light up, visit thefreezepipe.com and use code IDIOTS for 15% off. That's thefreezepipe.com. Use code IDIOTS for 15% off and say goodbye to harsh cannabis smoke. Uh, you know I hate doing Brilliant Idiots without the whole Idiots gang here, but this week was one of those weeks, man. We was all running around. I've been, We've been in L.A. most of the week. When was in L.A.? Tuesday? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We usually tape on Wednesdays to come out on Thursday, but didn't get back here till last night. Andrew got comedy shows this weekend. Oh. So it's just us, man. Uh, salute to everybody in L.A. We was out there. I was hosting the uh, AFCA Awards the African American Film Critics Association Awards. Me and my good sister, uh, Alicia Renee, yeah. um, who has a project coming out with us on on Audible, me, me and Kevin Hart, um, called Unleashed With Love. But so. the Africans was dope, man. It's a celebration. It's really like some industry shit. Yeah. You know? That. But that's what LA is, though. I, I would look at, you know, people always talking about meetings. You don't really have a meeting unless you're in LA. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we have, mean? you're in New York, like, y'all about to go see my peoples, you know, we about to go talk about some things. When, as soon as you get to um, um, LA, we have to have a meeting. Everything is a meeting. If you go out to eat, I'm going to a meeting. Well, it's different for us because we, we don't live in LA. Yeah. So when we go to LA, we're really there working. You know what I no, mean? No, not for us, but even people that live there, it's like, every time I talk to them, oh, I got a meeting today, I got a meeting. I'm like, why is there so many meetings? Or y'all just call something meetings? We have mad meetings in New York, too. It's just the business is different. New York, L.A. is more TV, film. Yeah. You know, New York is more audio to me and media than than the television. I mean, media is television and film, but L.A. is more television and film than it is New York. New York's more business, not just entertainment business, yeah, if that makes just sense. Meetings. I, just, I think it's just a language they do. I'm like, yo, I'm about to go chill with my boy. I'm about to have a meeting. Everything is meetings in L.A. I don't know yeah. why. Oh, uh, we had a good time. And yeah. salute to everybody at the African American Film Critics Association. One nope. thing I do want to say, all you black artists, you got to start showing up to the award shows that celebrate you. Yeah. I love seeing y'all at the NAACP Award. And, and it, it seems like this generation of black star, the Issa Rays of the world, they understand the importance of the NAACP Image Awards. And so it's good to always see them at those events. Mm -hmm. But I don't like when I see artists at the SAG Awards, but they don't be at the NAACP Awards or they don't be at the... The Africas, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, yo, because we only are going to cause something to have have value if we value it. Period. And the show that and you value it, up. you got to be there. Yeah, show up. When people know that y'all going to be there, then their the sponsors, you know, get bigger. The more people money gets poured in. into it. So mm -hmm. it's just like, it just, it's disappointing when I see certain artists accepting their awards via video or certain artists not showing up at all. I just, it's very disappointing, but. Yeah, unless you got really got something to do. Just don't be like, I don't want to be around the people. Like, yo, you got to be a part of the game if you're in the game. That's what I'm saying. Especially when it's your people celebrating yeah, you, man. Yeah, yeah, word. It's your folk. It's your folk. But yeah, salute to everybody in LA. Uh, let's do some positively brilliant. What a fucking idiot. Um, people what? No. Let's start with euphoria. Euphoria. I like these bullet points. Euphoria is the most tweeted show of the decade. That's real? Where you got that from? Cite your sources, Taylor. Um, Topic Post. Topic Post? Yeah. Twitter shared the news and said tweets about the second season have hit a massive 30 million. That's an increase of about of around 50% compared to the premiere season in 2019. 30 million people tweeting about something is a lot of motherfucking people. Yeah. Is that, that's a meat show? What's no. a meat show? What's a meat show? Where everybody showing dicks? Yeah. It's a lot of dicks. I'm fucking believable. I can't watch that shit. I watched 20 minutes of this shit. It's not I seen that many, 20 it's meets. It's not that many dicks that y'all make it seem. I seen 20 meets in 20 minutes. 
Time to go. Why? What's wrong with you? How do you see 20 man? meats? In- you think I want to see meat? It's I don't even like looking at my shit. I don't give a fuck if it's TV. You so, uh, so you tell me I go on porn and pushing meat. Do you get hard? Why do you get so... Why do you get I don't so want to see it. Certain things I'm not of, I don't want to see. You think I, I don't, I don't uh, smoke crack? But I don't want to see my uncle do it. Yo, I'm really starting to think that you overcompensate for a lot of shit, bro. <laughs> let me hear it. It's let me hear what you got. You ain't telling us, Listen, man. let me hear what you got. Because you're too much of a... First of all, you're a tramp. That's let, Let's say... <laughs> let me let me say that, okay? Wax Herman Chill. is a motherfucking ah. tramp. He's not a whore. <laughs> no. He's not a slut. I'm a nice He's not guy. a gigolo. He's a fucking a nice tramp. He needs to get a, tra- a tramp stamp. You need to get a little tat <laughs> right here on your lower back. Get a fucking H right on your lower back for Herman, bro. Get it in the Herman sign. You a tramp, yo. I'm a good guy, That's man. number one. Number it's... two, who cares about the dicks on Euphoria? Exactly. People don't want to see dicks. You was a football player. You saw dicks in the locker room all the time. Thank you for saying uh, that. I wasn't looking at it. You put your towel on or you put the thing over the You never the saw shower. a dick in the locker room. We seen meats, but nobody give a fuck to look at the meat. Okay, okay. then. Don't feel like that when you're watching Euphoria. It's a great show. It's, it's too many. You can control meat it's looking not, inside what the scene locker room. Did you see? There's more dicks on a football team than on Euphoria. We understand that, but I don't know. <laughs> I've seen, and I played football for years. So I've seen more penises in that fucking show than I've seen. You, I can That's control. A lie. That's I can, a lie. That's a lie. I can control my money. It's not that many. It's not that many. You gave the cute little nickname too. You said he always had his meat out. What was no, the no, no, no. It wasn't that. He, what I was t- the nickname? I told you that he always told all what, the girls. What was the nickname? Tippy Toes. That's cute. No. <laughs> That's cute. Tippy Toes, you, know you tell tippy all toes? the girls I'll meet They said his meat was so big that when he'd be on the other side of the locker rooms, all the other jocks would be on their tippy toes trying to pick over the locker <laughs> to see his dick. So they started calling him tippy toes. No, tippy toes, the tippy toes walk like this and then the girls tell us like, we know all y'all size. Like, what the fuck you talking about? And she told us that tippy toes told us his size. So Salute I told the tippy boys. Toes. Tippy toes so, loves you for it. <laughs> so I, oh, he loved me for it. So, so I told uh, I told the boys in the locker, like, yo, bro, tippy toes telling these girls everybody's size and stuff so tippy toes can't come into the locker room. Why we in there? You overcompensating for something, bro. Yeah. What are you talking about? Because I want this guy to tell me the girls because my meat size. Because you should be like concerned. And you're so scared about looking at a dick. Let me tell you something. I'm, I, not, I'm scared to look at a dick. I don't want to look at a dick. But it doesn't, like, it's not that deep. All right, so right now, somebody my... pull their, pull their, right now, somebody, a girl pull her pants down and show a pussy. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to pull meat. her motherfucking pants up and have some respect for herself if she got to leave this studio. Same guy with the thing with the guy. I would tell him the same thing, but that has nothing to do. This is, that's a different type of context. It's a show, Wax. Like, literally a show. It's a show. So I'm like, this is a lot. Like, why is this meat is just all over the place? So when you see the dick, you be like, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you say? When you see no, the dick, man. Like, yo, it's out of dick, control. You say, that's a lot. Like, it's more, like... <laughs> You know how they blur it out or like turn to the side or something. This is just like wide open. My my dad told me one thing. He's like, be aware of guys that feel a type of way just seeing certain like just gay guys or dicks Mm. like that because he think they're something ain't right. Yeah, something's not right. I should think about that. I should think about myself, right? You should think. You should look. (laughs) Good job. I should. I might be gay, right? Maybe. Maybe. Don't care if you are. Are you on drugs? <laughs> I don't know, man. Are you on drugs? Because why are you so concerned? Actually, no, no, no. I, I, okay, okay, okay. You said What's it. gay? We okay. never said it. Listen, no, I, no. All she told you was what her daddy that. said. All right. And then you just jumped out, I might be gay. <laughs> In TK Kirkland's no. voice, I might be gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to say, okay, so give me some tra- traits of being gay that you see of me. Sweatpants all the time. Man, come on. <laughs> I'm serious. Tight pants, actually. <laughs> they don't, they, yo, listen. You know, gay guys hate the way I dress. <laughs> They take my hands and you bite them they style. No, no. That's why. You bite their not, style. You know, you, they be pissed off at you. If they say that they, I bite their style, they be like, in no way they do it. They keep my shades. <laughs> they tell me I never put the fucking shades on. My hands always ashy. So I can't be gay. You. My hands ashy. Let them style you and let them groom you, man. I have you, a you gay cousin it. that wants to be all on you. Ooh. So, well, guess what? I got a name? gay niece. <laughs> Listen, I got a gay niece who's in love with you. Okay. That is true. Okay. Yeah, that's true. She always has a That is true. She do. She do, though. She do. But I don't... But, she do. She but do. But you see how I... Like, right, but why you, would I be upset about I that? I like girls, though. No, I don't. don't you, do like girl. no I, you like girls. You like girls. No, I don't. Yes. You've had an experience with a girl. Yeah, and I never had an experience like with a guy. He did it to me. You didn't like it? Right. No, I didn't like it. I told oh. you that. I didn't like it. It wasn't good. At the end see, of the now his day. niece is like, see, she needs to let me play with I that. I got shit. it. I'll show her something. Yeah. If she wants I, to. I'll make her cut her hair. See, so you heard what she said? <laughs> if she wants to, holler. But I would never say that about a guy is what are we trying to say. I would never do that with a guy. We've been talking about euphoria dicks for way too long. <laughs> Just because, like, this conversation should not even have gotten here. 
I don't even know how I got it. Because you just say you, you hate say dicks for it. no damn reason. Yes, you, you don't remember? <laughs> I didn't say I just said I don't want to see it like that. Do you do you love or hate dicks, bro? Yeah, I love my uncle. You don't want to see him do crack? What that got to do with anything? I'm just saying. That's, pipe. That's not the pipe we talking about. Do you love <laughs> dicks or do you hate dicks? Which one is it? All right, listen. You even by liking or loving it, you just certain things you don't want to see. But Wes, you'll watch other shows where it's be a guy and he's getting physical with a girl and you have no problem with that. Did and you watch, watch porn. Her? Exactly. You watch porn. So There's like, a dick in every porno. Not every Thank porno. you for saying that. There's a dick in every porn. Not every porno. It's got lesbian porn. That, but true, do you watch true. it? You yeah. don't watch lesbian porn. You don't strap on. It's a fake dick. You gonna see they don't even they, and they don't even do it. I do under the desk um um at the fucking office in the les, lesbians. That's the best one. <laughs> Wax was on the plane the other day watching porno with a total no, stranger. No, no, stop. And this dude, stop. That's Wait, a lie. What? That's a lie. Him and this dude was I can't watching tell him porno. Nothing, yo. <laughs> yo, this dude was on the porno. fucking plane. Fat white ladies. Like I look Wait, over. Wait, why were y'all watching up, this? I thing? was not with this guy. You knew what you was into. Listen, he must have wanted to strike up a conversation with Wax. He <laughs> pulled up fat white ladies <laughs> on Pornhub and Wax got Wax attention. Listen, and no, I did. Listen. By, by a five hour flight to LA, about two and a half. Was him what? and the guy talking whole lot. about that? Porn. It's a whole That's lot. Real suspect. Are you? Or just, what is me and the guy because doing watching porn you? together? I went to sleep. I was like, "This is cute." No, we just sleep. <laughs> this guy is out of control. <laughs> Number one, I looked over and I see this guy watching porn. I'm over like, "The fuck!" So I just kept my eyes closed and looked the other way. Like, what you the fuck that? are you over here? Not believe, really. I heard him I having don't. a conversation. I'm sorry talking. because I, you know why? Why? Because you you've shown so many of your friends. Including me of when girls used to send you shit and just showing guys, so that like it's low key porn. What that gotta do with anything? Because it's low key porn. You're showing you a some... tramp. <laughs> you just a full blown fucking tramp. Let me look up definition of a tramp, yo. I want to know too. Cause, no, because I, I I'm using this word on you and I really mean it because that's just what comes to mind. I feel Are like whore really is a tramp, worse yo? than tramp though. You think so? Yeah. I think tramp worse than whore. Let me see. Definition of tramp. I'm not a tramp. Damn, don't none of this shit got the... Oh, okay, slang tramp. If someone calls you a tramp, they either mean you're a slut or a hobo. <laughs> Each meaning comes vagrant or wanderer, and the low-life behavior is associated with vagrants. Definition of tramp, travel on foot, especially on a walking expedition. You a tramp, yo. You a hobo. You, you act homeless. <laughs> you act like you don't got no motherfucking place to go. You hate stability. When you actually have a home to go to, you find a way to destroy it, and you just move around from... Conquest to conquest, <laughs> ruining people, yo. You like Galactus, yo. You go from planet to planet, destroying planets, yo. You are tramp. <laughs> what? What Trelamptus. Trelamptus. But what Galactus. about me, though? Tramp Lactus. <laughs> tramp Lactus. That's who you are. You are Tramp Lactus. What about me? What, what about, about you? What? you? I don't know. You are a selfish. Yeah, you're I really don't selfish. Do tramp. You're really you selfish. are good. Tramp lactus. <laughs> He's good. Tramp lactus. <laughs> I'm not standing for it no more. We are not kids you know. anymore. It's over, man. I'm not, not a kid either. No That's what I'm saying. saying. So why are you playing? I'm not playing. <laughs> tramp lactus. From now on, that is your new name. Refer to wax as tramp lactus. Okay? I'm a good guy. He treats... Why do you do People that? People like planets. No. That's you not need to cool. stop doing that. What? Tell you I'm a good no, guy? No, stop playing like you're the victim all the time. Because tramp you're... <laughs> because I'm not the victim. he didn't say you're not a good guy. He just called you a tramp. That's two I'm different not a things. tramp. You are beyond a tramp. This is the Yo, perfect I definition. I changed so much. No, you didn't. You don't give my flowers. That's one, one thing y'all understand. Flowers I, for what? For being the good guy that I am no, today. No, you ain't flowers. You're more like fertilizer. <laughs> if I get some, if I take some ingredients and put it with this shit, there's some beautiful things that can grow from it. But you ain't, you know, flowers. No, no, no. You gotta stop, man. Stop, stop right now. Stop before flowers. we have the conversation. Stop. You want to have the conversation? I'm the good guy, Cole. Cool. No, I don't. I'm not doing that. All right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Euphoria is a phenomenal show, though. And the last season, the last episode of Euphoria went down exactly how I thought it was gonna go down. I said. I said, I think Fez is going to jail and Ashtray was going to get killed. I knew it was going to go down Fez like that. Was supposed to be, I didn't know that Fez was supposed to be killed last He killed season. in season one, but yeah. the people love him. He became a fan favorite, so they kept him on. Plus, I love that whole storyline, but I knew it was going to go down like that. Fez going to jail, Ashtray getting killed. Very, very, very sad ending. Ashtray. That's a good name. Man, Ashtray's a bad. You know, he boxes. I didn't know he boxes. 
Really? He's 15. I think he's 15 years old. And his dad, I think his dad was a boxer. So he's been boxing his like whole life. Like he's supposed oh. to be like a really, really good boxer. They call him like Baby Mike Tyson or something like that. Really? Dope. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I can't remember his real name, but they call him like Baby Mike Tyson. But I fucking, I, I, I think I Euphoria is a great show. And I, I just don't know. understand in two years, you're not going to be able to come back and have them kids still in high school. You're, why do you keep saying that? What grade are they, what grade because are they in? Because I don't think they're going by years, though. Like, for us watching it. Mm -hmm. I think they're just going to, like, start it when we're stopped at. You can't know, like think for, about like the uh, years and how friend. long it takes for when they change the production. The you kind of got to, though. You, Zendaya will be 27 when they come back. So? Well, no, that's I, not what she's playing already still anyway. She's supposed to be playing an 18-year-old right now. Oh, she's so 18? The, yeah. But they definitely can't. No, but I'm saying there are she's already in high school already in the show, right? So why would just because she's turning twenty seven in real life doesn't what does it matter? What grade are they supposed to be in on the show though? These motherfuckers got some grown ass. You lives. remember the mom was saying <laughs> yeah. she was like, You're gonna turn eighteen in a couple months, so you're and you're gonna be out the house. You wouldn't like if in two years they came back and they weren't in high school no more? Fez done been in jail for a while. They adults now. Yeah. But the they all still dealing with Screeching them look kind of crazy. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that they're going to go pat, like, they're going to do that time, but I don't think it should be... It's probably going to be the summertime. It's probably going to take place in the summertime. Because you know the school serves no purpose in this show. I know. It's not like a show that's based around their school activities. Like, it don't even matter that they're actually in high school. They could take it out of the high school at this point. Yeah, that's what I said. It might be in the summertime. Other than that play, the play was the first time that I actually saw them incorporate something from school in a real way. I know. <laughs> I haven't seen anything. Yes, J Javon Walton is his name. He's a boxer, Javon. yo. Javon. What is he? Yeah, boxing and gymnastics. He's not Scottish. white. No, I don't think he's white. He has to be Spanish. I don't think he's that white. That's not a white Javon name. is not Javon. a name. Javon Walton. But salute to Euphoria. Great show. What else we got, man? What else did we <coughs> see this week that made us say... Mary uh, J. Blige. What Mary J. Blige? So Mary. You didn't see it? Mary is will executive produce Real Love, an original Lifetime movie. Dope. Inspired by her 1992 single. I don't be knowing how I be feeling stuff about, about stuff like that. Though, I wasn't even just thinking. because it's on Lifetime. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I'm not even Lifetime joking. has... But think about it. Did you watch You? No, what was You? you the guy that kind of... I forgot the guy's name, but he was basically... A serial killer. He'll get into a relationship. It was that really was popular Lifetime? on Netflix. Yeah. It was on Lifetime yeah. first. And I mean, they Some type of stuff over. do come on Lifetime. Yeah. All that tragic type of stuff. I don't know. I just be feeling like certain things. Like, and don't get me wrong. Like, you know, they do they do good stuff. They do decent stuff that gets people to, oh. But it's like, yo, Wendy, I feel like Wendy Williams deserves something a little bigger. I feel like Salt and Pepper deserves something bigger. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, it's cool to see, you know, Mary getting into the TV world like that. But it's just like, eh. Is this what it, she's yeah. saying? This she shouldn't start here. She said in here. What do you she mean into the movie world? Like this? I just, I mean, I just don't know. When I see stuff like that, whenever I see Lifetime attached, it's like, Ugh. yeah, it's like the ending of you. No, 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 it's no. not the ending of you. No, no, no. It's not, I, look it's at, like, I look at Lifetime like something like tragic happened. Are you trying to show your tragic part of something that happened? Oh, I see what you're saying. No, I can see why you say that. Yeah, it's just I like don't a feel, dark. I, it's like a dark place. It's not. It's not like stars or something else. Like you hear Lifetime like. What makes Man, you feel it, like that? Because that show, that show they had snapped? Was that yeah. it? Yeah. Because it snapped? It snapped is like a bunch of them things come on. You look, look at Lifetime is like you watch all the, like, the, the murders and the people get put in the trunk and then they got to find them because they put um, gasoline and stuff in the trunk yeah. like that. Yeah, so nah. I mean, there's a lot of things I think Lifetime does well. I just don't know if movies is 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 one of them. So when I, whenever I see somebody of Mary's stature and I see them doing it, you know, <coughs> real love at Lifetime, it's like, ugh. Where should it be on HBO? I don't know. I got to see what it looks like. You know what I mean? It's just more liver. You know? R but, but it might be a dark story she might be telling. So Lifetime might be the best place. Maybe. It's like more of a storytelling place. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Get Gail to do it. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. Just I can see Gail doing Lifetime interviews. And real love. I, real love is what I thought Mary should have did at the Super Bowl. Yeah. Only because like I feel like that. Exactly. I feel like that shit would have ripped in this TikTok era. I think I feel like that shit would have been a challenge. Like people would have been doing the TikTok lunch table real love challenge or some shit. Woo! You know, we should start. That. I think she was trying to make it more um, drama because that's what she was saying. She did the drama song because she's trying to tell people like no more drama, like because of yeah. how big this year been or whatever. Because yeah. of the war, not just the war, just everything that's been happening. All right, what else we got? What else we got, man? Um, Let's roll.
Okay. You don't care about Julia Fox. I definitely don't care about that young lady. I don't even know why she continues to talk. And I, I didn't even understand a statement I heard her say. And one of the statements was they asked her, was the relationship real or a publicity stunt? And she said some aspects of it were real. What does that even mean? Like, what does that even mean? Um, that maybe they found each other attractive? Maybe? I, I, if somebody asks you if something is real or a publicity stunt, it's either real or a publicity stunt. So what does that mean? Was it a, probably they a, were a part actually, of a publicity stunt? Like, probably they were actually still actually having sex. Because a publicity stunt doesn't mean that you having sex. I don't know, man. <laughs> I hate this shit. I don't even... It mean, and, you know, I, I even hate talking about this shit because it feels like, you know, every time I talk about it, they they use it like on the internet and it's like a headline or something and it seems like I talk about this shit all the time but I really don't like none of this shit I don't like the Kanye West Pete Davidson nah, I don't like Kim that. Kardashian because because now we're getting <clears throat> little out of control, control. Peter's Peter's my Peter's really our friend yeah like, for real. like I've been knowing Pete since he was sixteen yeah. like some guys we there to my guys act up with Pete and fucking you up like Pete started you, know you don't think people he has, like you don't think people are trying him now. Because the big influence of Kanye? I don't know, but... I, I let's, People let's, are copycats, too, so you got to look at that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? People will love to, like, oh, I did the exact same thing that was in Kanye's video. So, hey, everybody got to really be easy. That's right. What you got going on. Like, be easy, man. That's kind of wild. Somebody do that to me, I might have to come see it. Word is born. And, you know, what's on... I, I, you know, and I, I'm, saying, I'm saying this for people who don't know. Pete Davidson started with us at... Guy Code, mm -hmm. you know, when we was doing Guy Code, I've been knowing Pete like 11 years now, you know what I mean? Since he was like 16 years old. At least. And, you know, he started with us at Guy Code and like he's just a cool, quiet kid like guy, who man. minds his business. He's one of the first, you know, <clears throat> people that I can remember openly talking about going to therapy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot Pete, of trauma. Pete lost his pop. Pops in 9-11. And he like he at, for him to be so young, he was somebody who I always saw deal with something of that magnitude, the way that he would deal with it. Like yeah. he would openly talk about it. He would tell us about how he was going to that therapy. Was his jokes. Stuff Remember like that? that was his jokes back in the day. Yes, and I used to be it. like, bro, why you you keep talking about it. Well, like, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but he was one of the first people to really start talking about going to therapy, which got me really, you know curious about therapy and him talking about his anxiety and stuff. And this is just conversation that we would have amongst each other, mm -hmm. you know? So just to watch him grow to become who he is, like, that's, that's our friend. Yeah, like, like There's we, so many people that you could fuck with that would, <coughs> would love that challenge, Kanye. Fuck yeah, with them. Let's be clear, too. Like you said, Pete's a comedian. So he, I would think Pete's like, this clown is like now, and then somebody playing around with your life and showing you something. I mean that's not cool what he that? did that, that, I ain't like that, that this is the thing I don't that's like cool. what did the kids say ain't none of that shit pee <laughs> that shit ain't pee the way Kanye is acting over Kim is not pee yes that's it's your ex-wife that's the mother of your children but if this was anybody else and I've said this a million times before y'all be calling him a sucker for the way that he's acting man yeah, you yeah. gonna do a whole video killing pre pretending to kill the person that your woman is currently choosing to be with. That's all it is. But that's what girls do, though. Mm, that's what girls no. do because, listen, you telling me right now, if a girl find out you got another girl, she's coming to fuck your car up, she's coming to fuck you up. Physically. That's your girls. <laughs> that's your girls. <laughs> well, like, that I'm, is your girls. That's the crazy ass uh, girls you deal with. Well, I know a lot of crazy girls. Dude. But all that, that shit is lame. Like, what happened to... You know, in hip hop, they like, yo, if, you know, if 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 some if, what DMX said, if if you love somebody, let them go. If they come back to you, it's all it's yours. Or like, you know, when when, when Snoop used to say back in the day, you can't be mad because your girl chose me. Yeah, like how you mad at that man? Can't be mad at you. Him, can't man. be mad at Pete. What did Pete? Pete has done nothing but be there. He's just here. He has <laughs> and that's who Kim chooses to want. And you, you don't like the doing dad, videos where you burying the dude. Like for what? You know, he did something to your kids or some bullshit. Then it's born. Then, 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 then I understand. Come that. on, but, man. Bro, come on. That shit we is know Pete. And this is dumb. Behavior. But Kanye's being dumb because it's how he's acting. Kim does not want to be back. Like, you're just now showing you her really, more. Exactly. You're, you're just showing her more. She's single now. She couldn't wait to take that West off. <laughs> For <Instagram> real. And <laughs> She's single now. You know what I mean? So now you can't even call her, you can't even call her your ex-wife. And here's the thing, too. 
There's things that people don't see behind can, the scenes. Can say there's, say there's, there's things people. Oh no, you can't. Say, we can't call her her wife. He's, yeah, he's always his wife. Now you gotta call your ex wife. But there's things people don't see behind the scenes. You don't see the phone calls exactly. yeah. that happen, the conversations yeah. that happen. You know, if you go watch Kanye's interview with Jason Lee, he talks about me and him arguing. You know, for a long ass time on the phone. So these conversations that I have. Oh, I have them with him as yeah. well. You know what I mean? Because this shit is just, it's lame. It's lame ass behavior. And I wish everybody it's would corny. grow the fuck up. And it's like, yo, you don't act like you wasn't that young boy at one time. You're like, you ain't never fucking nobody, girl or wife. There man. you go. I know. There you fucking go. <laughs> and by the way, that's not your girl or your wife anymore. Not no more. So she's you doing score. nothing wrong. And I hate, the, I hate people act like, yo, she's not, she's a grown woman. She's 41 years old. She could be out here with whoever she want to be out here yeah. with. And what you going to do, shoot at every single boyfriend she a, get? But he's being a hypocrite, though, because then you out here um, with your, dancing with your girls. And all that's that what I'm shit. saying. I don't like it. Keep it player. If you're going to keep it player, keep it player. You got your girls. She got her dude. Yeah. If y'all come back together in the future, fine. But that shit he doing, it ain't P. And you could bring or whatever back the kids say. You know that she and it ain't G. With somebody else. It ain't no letter. <laughs> All right. I'm saying you you could do you think he could bring her back after she know that she was smashing somebody else? I can't do that. You know how people to have breaks or even having a break baby and stuff oh, like stop. that. I can't. Oh, I can't do that it. Means nothing. I know. All right. Well, that means nothing. She's had nah. she had dicks in her way before you do. So all right, but that's what I'm saying. So after, I like the way you said that. Taylor. I'm just saying. So after <laughs> after you had it and then she go get it again, then you go again. It's just like you hate the thought of dicks. <laughs> you hate the thought of dicks. At any point, but what's attached to you, me? Listen, you, you act like a, the girls you with were virgins when they come exactly. to you. It's not about being a virgin. It's about after, like if I'm have you and after me, you have, you have to go issue. ahead and get more. You have a control issue. How's that control? So you if you love a girl, the... if you love a girl, uh -huh. and you know y'all split apart, she goes off, she messes with somebody else, you mess with somebody else. If y'all do come life. back together yeah. in the future, you're not gonna want her because she went and got some other dick while y'all wasn't together. Probably. That makes no that sense because you out here getting, getting vagina. Dog. You out here seeing another woman. Like I don't like the girl if I, get, if I go smash something else. She likes it. If she open her legs to this guy, she likes him. It's like a little different. And then if you put your dick in Tramp someone Lactus else, you like spoken. her too then, right? Yo, hold on. Like, don't you like her spoken. too then? If, you, if I, we fuck girls, we don't like them? Tramp Lactus has spoken. Oh, Let me tell you something. All you ladies out here that continue to give wax them, when y'all hear him on the <laughs> podcast, say things like, I don't like none of these girls I'm sleeping with. Guess what that makes you? I did not. A tramp too. No, 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 no. I said men. Men, or if they have sex with girls who's not their girlfriend, they just don't like this girl. They just fucking them. If a girl has so sex with a man... So you think girls don't listen, just listen, fuck listen, a nigga? Listen. He That's has disgusting. five niggas and everything else. So stop it. I want y'all to stop that then. It's nasty when men do it. Exactly. It is, but it's way nasty when girls do it. Because, no, it's not. And listen, no, listen, listen. listen. Listen, listen, listen. Hear me out, though. Hear All me out what I'm trying to say. All these diseases. You got HIV, Respect. syphilis, Respect. gonorrhea, COVID... You ain't the fuck. No, I understand that, but when girls do it, they have emotions to it. They like the guy. That's if not you open true. Your legs, but why you open your legs to this man you don't like him? Why are you pulling that down your pants, putting your penis in this girl you don't like her? Because we pieces of shit. I'm trying to tell you. you men is different. You continue to be a piece of we shit. We don't like men, girls. You fertilizer, yo. You fertilizer. You fertilizer. You fertilizer. <laughs> you fertilizer, yo. You manure. Yo, bro. You that shit that Michael J. Fox <laughs> ran into when, when he made this Biff run into that fucking truck full of He's shit, yo. He's not going to answer you. It doesn't matter. He not listening to you because he don't want to hear this toxic bullshit. Sir. You he don't want to hear you. He's he not listening to you. You Shaka King Medusa. is not listening to you. Medusa. Yo. That's right. That's right. Ignore this bullshit. Don't listen to this listen, shit, yo. Man. Don't listen to this bullshit. He's like, listen, if, if girls have sex with a guy, don't she don't she got emotions? She like this guy if she open her legs to him? Absolutely. Is it the yes. same for men? I'm oh, sorry. Is it the same for women? Is it? No, for same for men, like you said. You don't think that's ego for him to think that? It is ego. I know plenty of women out here that just go, go fuck you. for we fun. We both do that. That's not we cool. We both know. We both know. It's you still cool fuck the same you girls. Doing. You still fuck no, no, the same no, no, girls. No, 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 no. I understand that. But if a man do it, he don't really like her. He's not in love that's with this girl. That's not fucking true. A girl have sex with a man. She's supposed to be in love so with. You think every like girl her. that you slept with loves you? Exactly. At least like me. Yo, that's ego like a motherfucker, yo. That's ego like a motherfucker. What are they supposed to do? They're not supposed to like you? You need to go buy Kanye sanitation boots. You know what? You're so full of shit. You just spew <laughs> shit everywhere. You need to go get Kanye West sanitation boots so you can walk around your own shit. No. That's why you got. Bro, you, so you telling me that girls open their legs to a man she don't like him? I know plenty of girls. That's what do you call? What do you call exactly? What do you call like? I didn't know girls. What do you call like? Yes, you do. I didn't know girls fuck with fun. You have someone. No, I'm not even gonna say. You a tramp. 
tramp lactis. You a tramp, I yo. think guys fuck for you fun and girls tramp. fuck well for Why bullshit. do you think that you're not a fucking woman? So I'm telling you as a woman that girls do that fucking too. Whoa. No, Taylor, no, Taylor, Taylor. Now, I've heard Taylor smut some people out. Taylor, even with her, Taylor smutted a girl did. out. And I don't like that. What the fuck? I'm surprised. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, wait, shut Bro, the you, hell you up. You see what I'm yeah. saying though, right? <laughs> Thank you. So you think it's okay for guys just to be out here sleeping I don't think, around with I, I women? Don't think it's any okay. woman they want? I don't That's think it's nasty okay. Too. But I, they are nasty. But I'd rather a god is. Ain't no they. Fuck. You are they. <laughs> no, you I'm are the pronoun. They. No, you listen. are they. I used to be they. You are they. You are them. <laughs> you are tramp. T T T. What do you say? T. What do you say? That shit is T. The three T. The three T. Oh, you can't do that. Yeah. That's your three T's. You can't change my three T's. That's three your T's, three T's. My yo. three T's is fire. That's your three them T's. Them day right trip. That's your three T's, yo. <laughs> this shit is disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself, man. No, I'm not. I just I think girls should respect themselves just a little bit more. Because but we do, and men should respect themselves a thousand too. Percent. A so thousand percent. Stop trying to make this a gender well, you're thing. You're almost forty, yo. Grow I understand up. that, you but I'm just I, yo, me being at forty, I know girls. Me growing up. Girls was having sex with guys because they like them. Guys who just like, go fuck a girl. You know, Tramp. girls that probably fuck you, they just probably think you're attracted. They don't want shit to do with you. That's it. I, but they, that's what I'm saying. They like this guy. That's not a liking. Girl, a it's boy no, will fuck a girl. Like don't even, it's not an, even, it's don't even be attracted. It's a tr I don't even got to be attracted to fuck a girl. Not me, but uh, guys don't have to be attracted to that you girl or so, fuck I'm her. I'm going to say why this is such hypocrisy from him because he talks about how girls just use him for his meat. Exactly. So what, they back don't in like the day. you? Well, oh, you think they like you now? Back in the day, now they like you. <laughs> Back no. in the day, they used to use me for no, my no, people. They like me now. No, <laughs> they like me. I'm a but catch. hopefully, hopefully, if they they who have have sex with me, hopefully you like me. Because listen, if you open your legs to me, it's possible I can have a baby with you. It's possible I can give you a disease. So why would you? Why are you not wearing somebody? a fucking condom? Why are you not wearing a condom, dog? What do you mean? What condoms got to do with anything? Opening your like legs condoms. up to he a man. He don't like. I heard that nigga hates condoms. Yo, I, yo, what's up with this? Just showing about me. <laughs> Euphoria right or here. Gigi. Condoms. But no, let's go back to what you just said. <laughs> yeah. You think that you can't catch STDs from these No respect. Women? You, you, you can just get random women pregnant? I don't want that. We understand that. Mm. But girls, you, you have to deal with a whole shit, lot man. more than all the girls in Miami you had it. pregnant at one time. <laughs> think about that shit, man. Show your show, man. Think about all those girls you had in Miami pregnant at one time or at least thought that they were your babies. You can't do that. that yo, was, you can't yo. just impregnate women. And mind you, you were the also saying that you want to impregnate a lot of women because you want to have a whole that was army. Back or whatever. in the day, do I have growth? That y'all don't give no, me flowers. We ain't seeing the growth. Look how you're talking. Where's still? the growth? Yo, I, I, so many men just on here. Just because you going... wear small clothes <laughs> and it looks like you have outgrown them does not mean there's been growth. What Stop. are you talking about here? <laughs> What are you talking about? Why do you do this to yourself, man? Stop. I'd rather you wear some baggy shit so we can see you grow into it. This shit got to stop, man. Y'all got to stop Yo. this shit. Why do y'all continue to let him do this, man? Oh, my Yo, listen, God. Man. Why do y'all continue to let him do this? <laughs> I don't let him do anything. Listen, man. I'm just trying to tell y'all I know me growing up. I know girls just was having sex because they liked the guy. A guy would have sex with this girl, this girl, this girl, this girl. And it was like, okay, this girl's not supposed to be able to do that shit. Neither is men. I understand that, but men don't have no feelings. I hate, a man penis. don't have to have a feeling with this girl. He'll just do it. A and girl that, is that not going to have even sex more with this. Stupid. It's too many consequences that can come with just laying down with random people, not to mention just the transfer and of energy. Exactly. I was going to say that. that. Why that's you very important. That? Why are you inviting I, all these listen, different energies in your I, life? And I think that that's very important too, but at the end of the day, I know that girls have the inner... Why are you keep putting it on us? You have to, do you listen to what he just said? What? It's transferring energy. That's you too. Like Understand you don't, it's not okay. A guy would sit there and take that energy and be okay with it. And figure That's out not true. Y'all all fucked up. Look how you act. Look how you act, yo. Look how you act. You Look at tramp. all the energy. <laughs> you a tramp, yo. Can't believe you, yo. No, you are not a wandering. You are unbelievable. a wandering whore, aka oh a God. tramp. And you gotta stop. I thought about Wax when I saw this story. Did they catch the poop smear suspect? <laughs> uh, they I caught hope so. him, but they and let him go. And I don't know why you thought of why me, because you know go? I wouldn't do that to because, a lady. Because, um... You wouldn't do that to a lady, but boy, you used to play with poop back in the day. I did. I, I used to put I put it on somebody before, because I didn't, I told God I wasn't going to punch him in the face no more. I said, God, I'm not going to beat people up. And then I thought, dude, it was the next thing that they're knocking somebody out. They caught him and let him go? They caught him and let him go. Well, let's catch his ass. What's I his name? I want to catch him, too. Hold on. Stop why would it. they catch him and let him go? He's not a because of, he bailed him he, they out. said because of something though. Um Frank Abroca. 
That's his name, Abroqua. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Frank Abroqua like was nasty, hauled yeah. before a judge for the second time in as many days. This time on charges, he spat on a Jewish man and chased him down a Brooklyn street screaming, come here, you effing Jew. I am going to kill you. Oh, what? oh, he got nine lives. Who is this guy? I need him to go rob a the bank. The alleged hate crime <laughs> happened September 9th. And go ahead, you're going to get away with it. Oh, he clearly got issues. Yeah, he got Yeah, issues. yeah, yeah. He might as well go do on. some real shit. Hold on, right here is guy, so I want to read this. I didn't know, I didn't see, know he got caught. But bail couldn't be set on any of those charges, including the top felony count of aggravated harassment as per the state's new bail reform laws that nixed the cast option for many charges, authorities said. Our broker 37 was sprung on supervised release. He was free Tuesday night in the Bronx feces attack because what? the charges are also not bail eligible. That doesn't make sense. Even despite no, prosecutors request that he be like held that. on 15000 bond or 5000 cash. Why would y'all continue to put somebody like that on the street exactly. knowing that eventually they're going to really do, do some harm to somebody? Yeah, you're bugging. The man put feces in the woman's face. He did a hate crime against a Jewish person or, or threatened to kill a Jewish person. What, you going to wait till he actually kills somebody? Yeah. You going to wait till he actually hurt somebody in a real way? Like, I don't know. I know you talk about therapy and stuff, but that lady going to need it. You got doodle on your face and your hair? <laughs> I mean, that lady's going to need it and that guy needs it. That guy, Frank, should actually be nah, in he his, he somebody's need, institution. Right he need to get his jaw broken and understand his life. I mean, listen, I, I, I don't never tell anybody what the consequences of their actions should be, but you do something like that to somebody's mom, somebody's grandma, Sister, somebody's woman sister, and somebody's and somebody's children. daughter. You do Period. that to any human, you deserve what you get in return. But I wouldn't be mad. I mean, I'm not mad, but if he did that to a guy, at a, you know what I'm saying, that's not crippled or something like that, I wouldn't it's feel so as bad. Up. I wouldn't it's feel as exactly bad. No. Because the guy going to give him what he want. Nah. Maybe, it's... maybe not. What if you do it to a little boy? What if it's a no, little no, kid? No, no, no. That's what I said. That's what I said. A guy of a, of a certain, you know what I'm saying? I don't I mean, want to guy, be It might be kid. somebody who can't fight. Like, listen, if I'm sitting near a train station and somebody walk up to me and just put <laughs> shit in my face, I don't know what the fuck exactly. I'm going to Exactly. I don't know what I'm going to I'm going to be so shocked. I'll be like, what the fuck just happened? Well, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. And it's going to take a while for you to realize this is shit on me. No. You even come that close, I'm already trying to knock you out. I'm looking at you That's stupid. how I feel too though. All I'm saying is how does the system just let this man out? Because right now I don't know what's going on. I know COVID fucked it up. Even when I got into a car accident the cops wouldn't come out because it's not um, cop worthy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they wouldn't send no cops. I had to handle it by myself. Insurance had to handle it. Um, I had a break-in that I heard that happened over there. Nobody was there. Nobody was in the house so the cops wasn't even allowed to go in the house. Unless they had a warrant or something. So if the person was still inside the house they couldn't even go into it. So I don't know what the fuck is going on with these rules. So, it's really out of control. Yeah, I don't understand this, man. Look, like, look, I, I don't even want to see it. I don't know why you're playing this video, too. Because I'm trying to understand. Uh, I don't even want to see it. Uh, uh, and like, why? And he Yo. just still is right there, too. I would grab him then. Like, is he still trying to pour it on me? I'm definitely By the way, that's him. just a hurt person. Because whatever's going on in his time. life that is causing him to have the trauma <laughs> that he has... He just had to transfer that pain on somebody that day. If you uh -huh. wake up in the morning and you say, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to throw shit on somebody. You are hurting I, I, inside I in a up. real way. I was. I was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I was so fucked up at that time, but I was still in control, more control than that. I know exactly who I want to do. He's just looking for somebody to do that to. Either way. All mine was, all mine was, I, oh, you did something to me? I, I told God I wasn't going to fuck nobody up no more. So you got to get this doodle. Yeah. And then I, don't, I just don't like the fact they just let him back on the street. Like you're not even going to attempt to see what's exactly. wrong with him. You know what I'm saying? They know what's wrong with him. There's a bunch of them all out there just like that. Like, yo, they. I was over by the corner store, Freddie, and um, I was about to give the, the dude some food or whatever in the morning. He's like, man, feed me, feed me, blah, blah, blah. And old boy was like, nah. You can see that guy on the paper. He don't want to push the lady on the train. So what the fuck is he doing out here? No, man. Wait, he, he what? Pushed, he pushed the lady in um, on, a, on the tracks. He was down there and pushed the lady on the tracks. And I'm like, what the fuck is he still doing? I'm like, nah, bro, I ain't feeding you. I heard you did some dumb shit. Word up. And what happened? He's left. They, How the fuck you push a lady on the train and they you still out? let the motherfucker out? I don't get it. I don't get it. They, 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 I'm say, I don't they understand. They all sick. It's like, if they go and put them in there, just give them three hots in a cot. Well, find a place. In well, no, send sick people to a place where they can get their they shit. Shut it down. Treated. You know that. They you shut the I'm place saying? down. That's why they all out God, here like that. Damn, yo. They out here they sleeping on the street. Down? They shut that shit down. And they the only one? Hell. I don't know. Remember the other day, not too long ago, they were showing at the whole big ass line. They shut the fucking place down. Oh, yeah. They said it closes at a certain time. They close it. And they got them all out. It's not. And it's right around the corner from the job, so they coming all out. 
Remember, I was going to do, do dirty. Maybe we pulled back up that day, and I was like, I had to do them dirty the other day. Yeah. And they get big as hell, too. You had to do them push ups. Wait. This nigga Are we talking about the same hell. guy? You talking about in the in the lobby area? No, 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 no. Oh, Another guy. Okay, it, it was this, this big ass motherfucker that was about to rock the other day. You think it's big as hell, and I'm looking. I'm like, damn, I gotta get your ass too, bro. Yeah. But he just, hey, he having to act out. But he comes to me now. He's like, Wax, I'm sorry about that. He always come to me as like, Wax, I'm sorry about the other day. And it's like a couple of weeks ago now. He like, Wax, sorry about the other day. So he's aware of what he was doing. He aware of what he was doing, but he know he needs his meds. He actually tell me like, yo, I was off my shit. I was on my meds. I just That's the fucking how problem, it... man. Get these people some goddamn help instead of just putting them out in the street just to do some dumb shit because somebody gonna get killed, somebody gonna get hurt. And then what do you do in a situation like that when you know it's your fault? When you let people like that back on the street, when you let people like that back on the street without getting them any help, any yeah. psychological help, so, like you're part of the, you're part of the, you're an accomplice to the, I, whatever crime they commit. I, I, I think those meds is also helping mess them. I think they need to go to like a dispensary and like really find a herbs or a mushroom or something that could just give their all brain is, oxygen. All this from trauma, right? You can't like necessarily be born into just kind of. I don't think so. I, I've mm -hmm. had people. I've had people debate that with me. Um, I don't think people are born inherently evil, yo. And I don't think people are born inherently. I don't think so. You know, psychopathic. I don't, I, I don't even think it's insane, evil. I think, you I think they don't even know what they're doing. I think they, it's like a nature. Like certain dogs is going to bite you because they're going to bite you. I think something is just mentally wrong with people sometimes. Like sometimes people are just psychologically off. And when but you know that, that, you got to go from? get them that. Imbalance. Imbalance. I, I mean, I don't know where it comes from. But I'm not, but. I'm sure, I'm sure somebody could speak the way it comes from, you know, as far as people that are mm -hmm. born that way. But it's like, just get these people some help when you know that. Yeah. Like, you can't just discard these people. You can't just throw them out in the street and tell them to figure it out. Literally like, what they doing. Get these people some help. <laughs> Literally what they doing. And none of it makes sense. I even think about, you know, I even think about, you know, one time we had a friend going through something and like, even just calling to get that person some help. I remember them literally saying, well, the person hasn't, hurt anyone or hurt themselves yet. Mm -hmm. And then when... It got to be a certain amount of hours too, right? I don't know about oh, the hours part. If they missing, it got to be a certain amount of hours before they... I just wanted them to do a wellness check. That's all I wanted. And like they couldn't... They didn't even go do the wellness check. And then when something tragic happens, everybody's like, oh... I hate that. It's like, yo, if, I and I, I, I can only call, you know... 911 or 311, whatever the number it was, but yo, they, they, we need services for people that are going through those kind of psychological breakdowns. No, These really. people cannot just be in the, be in the street. I'm yeah, one of my people just went through something. I had a basically a sermon today talking to him like, yo, listen, you'll hurt me. You'll lock me off my shit if something happened to you. So I need you on your, really on your shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't understand. Like, God is real. The testimonies in the Bible is real. You know what I'm 100%. saying? 100%. So y'all got to really get into your word, get your GPS, get your mind right. You know what I'm saying? Get into more Proverbs. Proverbs is what's right going on right now today. Psalms is is a wise man's book. You know what I'm saying? So get in your Proverbs and see where you at. I don't want to hear that from you. you I, that's what I was about to say. Mean? Thank I you am, for Why do you mean that. you don't want to hear that from me, <laughs> That's man. exactly. I'm like, well, are you playing <laughs> that? Yeah, that's your what do you mean? Training? Am I saying that, man? I'm a because pastor's son. I'm a pastor. That doesn't mean you're the pastor, though. And that's why though. PKs are the worst. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> PKs Listen. are the goddamn worst. Which, I'm still anointed, and I still bring the forth the word. I told you, a, a crackhead is the one who put me, let me go to college, told me to go to college. And I listened to him and I had a, a lot of- So other, no one else told you? No, no. I had a lot of positive people around me who was wanting me to go a different way. It's just that right there hit different. You know what I'm saying? So okay. you get a word from whoever. Okay. It's, up to, it's up to you. So in the future, you want somebody to say, yeah, it was a tramp who told me. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Get the Proverbs. <laughs> um, What else we got? Yeah, I saw that. I didn't like- uh, I, did, I didn't like- With Freddie? No, the Laverne Cox thing. Salute the Laverne, uh, Laverne Cox. Cox. Yeah, I didn't- When I saw her- Say that I was like, Yeah, I didn't understand that. You felt like she was trying to. I didn't understand why she said, I hope y'all get more entanglements. She didn't say, I hope you have get more entanglements. Yes, oh, did. right. She did kind of say it like, like that. Like, yeah. Why would she Yo, say Smith? more? Yeah. And you know, I'm a Pink and Smith one if you know it's called it. That's yeah, my last so name. I don't, I don't... But I'm like, Why would you say more? Let me hear. She it. said she was, hold on. Let me hear the clip. Hey, I always want to be funny too, though. She said, I'm a big fan and everything else. Let me hear it. I didn't uh, understand. Let me hear it. Oh, she was interviewing them. Yeah. That's hilarious. Fingers crossed. This will hopefully be your year. We love you. Thank you for all the years of joy you've brought us. Thank you. We can't wait for more Red Table Talk and more, more entanglements. And 
<laughs> no more entanglements. No exactly. more entanglements. Could have just ended it at Red Table Talk, Laverne. <laughs> you could have just said we look forward to more Red Table Talk. But, but, but she wouldn't be talking about right will. now, though. She wouldn't be talking about right now. Everything. Listen, I know one thing about women. They got ulterior motive all the time. I you think she, what I'm saying? I don't even think that was an ulterior motive. I just think she, you know how you be talking? You just flow. And you trying to flow for time. You ain't here. That sometimes you just got to leave it alone. You ain't just here. let it go. When you don't have, Close trust the lid. me, Close when you the don't lid. have nothing to say, don't say nothing. Yeah. And when we was hosting the Africans the other day, <laughs> what did I say? I'm glad Alicia Renee is here to be my co-host because if yeah. you leave it to me to talk too long, <laughs> I'm going to eventually say something that pisses the room off. For I just sure. know it. For sure. I just know. And I, and, and I was teetering on it in the whole thing by accident. <laughs> and not even, like, like the, it was the young lady named um, Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey, yeah. And I'm like, yo, this next woman coming up is a girl with a boy's name. Yeah. And the crowd like, oh. And I'm like, don't you woke motherfuckers come for me. Yeah. Don't you woke warlords come for me. And Jeffrey her don't Instagram, look like Jeffrey. But her Instagram is literally at a girl with a boy's name. Oh, okay. So how you, I'm just saying what her Instagram is. But you know what I was expecting to see when you talk about Jeffrey? What? Somebody that looked Jeffrey. Somebody that looked like, oh, from the Fresh Friends? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, man. Did you, have you watched it? No, I ain't watched it It's yet. really, really good. Everybody keeps saying that. Yeah, I don't want to. Uncle Phil there? It, all right. No, you know what I really like about it? Because you know how Hillary was like a ditz in um, the old one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's not, it's not like that. Like, she's still, they they honed it to where, I guess, how Hillary would be in this type of generation with the social media. Yeah, like, I heard it's supposed to be Fresh that. Prince for this era. Yeah, it's good. It's really, really good. Yeah. I'm going to give it a chance. It's so much on TV, man. I'm, 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 I'm going to give it a chance. Family Matters. What? <laughs> what I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give it, you know, another time they got mad at me too, and I, I was talk, I was bringing up uh, Jay Ellis, but okay. I'm talking about Lawrence. So I called. I was like, I was, I said something like, you know, Lawrence caused Issa so much stress over the last five years on Insecure, and I'm like, yo, he was, I'm like, he was, he was dusty. He was dusty. And somebody in the crowd goes, dusty. <laughs> like I'm talking about a character. I'm not talking about Jay Ellis. <laughs> like. People be ready. That's what I'm saying. When Laverne Cox said that shit, people be ready to Wait. jump on your ass. So What's when I next? saw her say that, I said, "Oh, they gonna get on. They gonna get. They gonna get on her about that." Yeah. They did though, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, they did. That's why she had crazy. an apology. She really said she didn't crazy. apologize though. Look, that's what she said. I saw her say, "I'm not apologizing." Well, no. I ain't mad at her. I ain't mad if she. Don't that's what I saw her say. Where's if she don't want to apologize, I ain't mad. That I'm ain't, not that mad at that, that, that either. That ain't that crazy. I'm not mad at her she not put apologizing. Out there that she's a entanglement, and she put that funny word out there. We all did that entanglement thing. Yeah, but don't wish them more entanglements. If she'd have said, even if she'd have been like, more red table talk, but no more entanglements. If she'd have yeah, said that, that's like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? Like, why are you wishing this, them more no, entanglements? She, she wish she said, oh, and we're looking forward to more entanglements. She's like, no more. And then they, was Jaden <laughs> Will, you think Jaden Will was like, for, they played it off? That was a fake laugh from Will. <laughs> yeah, all right, motherfucker, keep that up. Is it certain people get can get away with carpet. certain different shit? They, they did get on Laverne's ass, but let me have did that. Mm. If I'd have did that, I'd be yeah. giving me World War III they on social media. You know what I'm saying? Be Motherfuckers would be talking about me so crazy. Like, if I if I did, it just depends. It's all about who does what. That's all it is. Yeah, that's all it is. That's all it is. like you said earlier with Kanye, there's no way somebody else would get away with that dumb shit. Man, there's nobody. Y'all get, no get, get Give me the great show. We can't even do that just... A regular nigga can't even do that type of that shit. That shit corny. That shit, all of the, every single thing that Kanye has done in regards to this Pete Davidson, Kim Kardashian situation is corny and y'all know it. Yes. Like that shit is lame as hell. It's like, yo, his wife is 41 years old. They not together no more. She chose to be with somebody else. He out here with other people. Yeah. The way he carrying on is fucking ridiculous. And you're going to do a whole video pretending to kill a man? Come on, man. Does it make you not you want to listen saying? to his music though? Does it make me not want to listen to this music? You know what? Let's pay some bills and let's come back and talk about that. Because I, I I was trending for 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 the old Kanye West uh, interview that came out in 2013, and that's a good question. Question Taylor, let's hold that thought. Remind me to come back to that thought. Let's pay some bills, okay? Keeps two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they're 35, and there are only two FDA approved medications that can prevent hair loss. Keeps offers both. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. 
You don't have to leave your home. Low-cost treatment start at just $10 per month and Keeps offers generic versions, discreet packaging, and proven results. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. Prevention is key. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act fast. If you're ready to take action to prevent hair loss, go to Keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's Keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots to get your first month free. Keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots. And... Today's episode is also brought to you by Blue Chew. This year, it's time to get off the couch and get back into the bedroom. Wax, we're not talking to you. Okay, Blue Chew can help. <laughs> Guys, we know that confidence can take you far in life. And when you feel confident, you're at your best, especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis with chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You could take them anytime, day or night. So you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. I wish Blue Chew made something for tramps. I wish Blue Chew made something that was the opposite of what Blue Chew does for people who are actually, you know, suffering with some type of ED or people who just want to spice things up. I wish Blue Chew had something that suppresses the tramp in tramps. All right. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code IDIOTS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code IDIOTS to receive your first month free. Now let's get back to the show. Do we have church announcements? Wax, what you got? Uh, local dispensary is in L.A. Uh, go over there and go get the Who's Wax. Um, you got to go to Who'sWax.com and go get your, your gummies. You got a subscription. You know, Charlotte was on one. And oh man, that new batch you got! Oh Lord, yeah, have my, mercy! My new batch I got in the Who's Wax um, gummies is really, really dope. You know what I'm saying? So y'all really need to go do that. Go to Bully and the Beast every Wednesday, Monday for Patreon. Make sure y'all go holler at that. And the Podcast Wars they are coming up, man. I got some really dope names who who agreed to go ahead and um, come fight in the Podcast Wars. So y'all want some cross promotion, some dope. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get the benefit. Go ahead and sign up for the Podcast Wars. Who's Wax Podcast Wars? Holla. Um, Only thing I got is thank you to everybody who keeps uh, downloading the podcast on The Black Effect. Thank you. And this week, um, you know, SBH Productions, Short Black and Handsome Productions is officially in business. We put out our first release on Audible, um, Finding Tamika. It is a true crime drama podcast and you know, we all know black girls and women disappear every day, okay. um, but not without a trace. I, I I learned something from this podcast. I think it's uh thirty percent of all missing people are people of color, but they only get seven percent of the media attention. Mm -hmm. Literally seven percent of the media attention. That's why projects like this are very important. So salute to Erica Alexander, the brilliant Erica Alexander. Man, Erica is a Genius, and when I tell you, I thank God that you know I've been able to partner with Erica on various projects. You know, the first thing we partnered on was the Finding Reparations podcast on the Black Effect, which was you know super, super, super successful. And now we're doing this Finding you know Tamika project with Audible, and you know it 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 searches for Tamika Houston, um, a 25 year old black woman from the crib, South Carolina, Spartanburg, South Carolina, the upstate, who went missing in 2004. And her case became a rallying cry for, for other missing black women in America and led to a growing demand to expose a system that igno ignores missing girls and, and women of color. And, you know, thankfully her, her killer was found. Yeah, man. But so many different things spawned from, you know, Tamika's case, man. Uh, you know, Tiffany Cross, who we now know for having the cross connection on MSNBC, she was very instrumental in, you know, helping, you know, Tamika's case back in the day. So, listen, go to Audible right now. Download Finding Tamika. It's a 10-part series. The first part is available on Audible right now. And, um, man, I couldn't think of a better project to launch SBH Productions with, man. So salute to everybody who's downloaded Finding Tamika thus far and continue to download it. Now let's get back to the show. You were talking about 
Do you do the difference of Kanye and his music? Yes. I'm looking at the headline. Taylor has Charlemagne the God trends. 2013 Yeezus interview moment about Kanye's fashion aspirations. Can we listen to the clip? It's like a 10 second clip that's out of context, right? Go back, go back. And that shit got 2.3 million views. Listen, I didn't even know I was trending until uh, Teslin hit me. Salute to Tez. You do realize that's not why we love you. We love you because of the music, bro. You gave us that feeling with albums like College Dropout, Graduation, Late Registration. We don't care about your designing sneakers and clothes and all that. That means nothing to us. Yeah, no. Okay, that's a 15 second clip that's out of context like a motherfucker. But if you remember that time period, that was the time when Kanye West was performing and he was stopping shows and he was ranting about how these corporations oh, yeah. wouldn't work with him. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Nike and, and all that, yeah. And what I said in that interview was, bro, you're Kanye West. Stop begging these motherfucking corporations to work with you. Mm -hmm. Like, like eventually these motherfuckers will come around. You know what I mean? Sure. But you're Kanye West. I don't want to see you on stage stopping your shows to beg these corporations to fuck with you. Yeah. yeah. Right? And what happened? Eventually one of those corporations came around you know, and, and 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 gave him what he was looking for. Now we got the Yeezy brand that we see today. Oh, man. Now, in that one clip, in that one 15 seconds, am I lying when I say, yes, we fell in love with Kanye West for the music? No. I think his documentary even reminds us of that. It's That's the reason true. we love Kanye West. Yeah. And guess what? I wear Yeezys all the motherfucking time because they are so comfortable for a 40-something-year-old <laughs> man. But there's not one pair of Yeezys that I own that I love more than College Dropout. I know. There's not yeah. one pair of Yeezys that I own yeah. that I love more than my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Period. Oh, yeah, That's why at the end of the clip, when he says Yeezys do mean something to the culture, not as yes, much. not as much as the music. Straight up. And that still holds true to this day. Y'all kill Kanye West for how his clothes be looking. And even though we all wear the sneakers, we still look forward to new Kanye West music. You're lying to yourself yeah. if you're telling me that his sneakers and his apparel mean more than those first five albums. College Dropout, uh, Late Registration, Graduation, 808 and Heartbreaks, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, all the music that Kanye Pablo. has produced, mm -hmm. all the artists he's given us from Kid Cudi to Big Sean. That, that's Yo. why he could do all this clown shit because it's, that's bigger than the clown shit. That's right. That's why right. when D.L. Hughley said what he said this week about Kanye, he said there's no beat good enough for him to be getting away with the type of shit that he's but getting he away with. he is because of the beat. But he is because of the Look music. Look Michael Jackson. All the things they say about Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson get away with whatever because it's Michael Jackson. And, and, and also during that time, yo, Kanye was acting like he was losing his grip on the culture because they wouldn't let him create in the fashion space. But no, bro, you're Kanye West. We're always going to love Kanye West because of his music. music. Like, yeah. His producing. It's great that you but have other like aspirations. And the only other thing I disagreed with him in that interview was him saying that you got to be a billionaire to change the world. I don't believe yeah. you got to be a billionaire to change yeah, the world. Yes, have, do billionaires change the world? Of course they change the world. Of course Bill Gates has changed the world. Of course Steve Jobs has changed the world. And when we're talking about philosophical change, when we're talking about changing people's mindsets, the people that have done that have not been billionaires. They haven't Masters been... Masters been doing that for years. Hard as more, they haven't been multimillionaires. Yeah. They, you know what I'm saying? Most of them are poor. Yeah. So it's like, no, I disagree with that. Self. I disagree with that. So listen, yo, cool. Take a 15 second clip out of context. I stand on it. Well, <laughs> I think Kanye well, West's music means more to, to the culture than his clothes. There are so many people, we know one actually that love like just his personality. They love his narcissism. They love his arrogance and all that. Because it gives people confidence. Narcissistic. I, I had that conversation this week. What does that mean? Narcissism? Yeah. Something that you are? I heard somebody else told me that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's somebody else? Your therapist? <laughs> Who's somebody else? It's, oh, something like Did a the therapist. lady tell you that? Something like a therapist the, told me Do that. you want to know the definition? Please, because nobody okay. had, people can say it means narcissist, narcissist. It's a self involvement yeah. to the degree that it makes a person ignore the needs of those around them. While everyone may show occasional oh, narcissistic behavior, true narcissists frequently disregard others or their feelings. That's you. They also do don't not do understand that. the effect. Oh, they also do not understand the effect of their behavior that has that it has on other people. You know what's so sad? He's a he's he's really a, a empath. He's a very empathetic person. Yeah. Except when it comes to women that he deals with. Why when it comes, that's, that's a not fact. True. 
That's not true. I'm, Tramp I'm so, it is a I'm fact. I'm so nice to everybody, and I'm and I'm definitely do a lot of sacrifices for anybody that I deal with. So what do you mean? No, that that sounds like a selfish person. That that you just don't want think everything. you self. You, are you don't selfish. think I would say you don't think you're selfish when it comes to women. When it comes to women, you deal with you selfish as hell, bro. I'm not selfish, not give up everything. You were just if I want they want to have sex. If I if I don't want to, I do it. No, you're a narcissist because you're trying to be making other women feel bad if they want to do the same shit that you're doing. No, no, no. I should. Somebody should have made me feel bad because I was a fucking whore. They, they do. That's what I'm doing they, now. <laughs> I'm going to make you feel bad <laughs> forever for being no. a fucking tramp. I'm not no more. Yeah, that's a goddamn lie. You are nasty, bro. Yo, you're listen, nasty. And I thought you grew on? up, but you didn't. Let's move on. No, I thought you grew up. I thought you grew up a lot. I thought you grew up, but I ain't seen no growth like I thought I saw, Franklin bro. Granddaughter, um, I ain't okay. see it. I ain't see it. I ain't see it. I see. All right. Well, what about this uh, Gary Payton about the Shaq? Gary Payton says Shaq would use bathroom and bucket and pour it on. <laughs> Yo, out of control, man. Now I know some of y'all idiots will say, "Well, what's the difference between Shaq and the guy on the train throwing feces in the woman's place face?" Once again, context matters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, we it, this is some jock shit. To me, uh, this yeah. is like some this is some jock shit. This is some hazing shit. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like it's the type of shit fraternities and sororities yeah. do to people that's trying to get into the sorority. And it's still disrespectful. In the sorority, you know it what is, I mean? But, but that's the whole hazing point. Hazing is all disrespect. Yeah, hazing is disrespect. He's doing it to the Dude. rookies. Like context matters. Like, but uh I don't I don't know what to tell y'all. <laughs> nobody want to happen to him. I don't want to tell you. Like nobody wanted to happen to him. You don't think the girls want to eat the girl, the girl pussy at hazing things? Like they don't want to do you, it. Why? Why? Because when you watch, you watch think that's what's porn, happening? that's all that happens. You think that's, that's what happens, what happens, happens? to hazing? No, it doesn't. That's all I say. If you go to haze on porn, that's all these girls eating each other out. What are you? T- <laughs> they have that kind of porn. <laughs> go to haze. Just right now, oh, go to haze. Have- Watch this, watch the haze, and I bet you it's girls eating each other out. You just want me to type in just haze. Just put haze and watch They this. got haze porn? Watch this. I'm just going to put haze. Was that well, first of all, porn? you got to go to Pornhub, Taylor. That's that. You want me to go to, I'm so, you want me to go to Pornhub I don't for think this? you need to go to Pornhub. I don't think you need to go. Just put haze. You, haze just, you just Google oh haze. Hazen. Watch this. Watch it go to haze. My. Hazen, I don't think haze will come up. God, this I was is horrible. To to this is going to be, this is my. I just go to haze. Hazel Moore, Hazel Grace, Jenna Hayes. Sorority hazing. Oh, wow. And lesbian sorority hazing. Wow. It's just girls eating each other out and making them do this. They're all acting. Like they're Is that real? Acting. How do you act having sex? They're acting it. How do you act having sex? They're act like they know that they're doing a porn. That's what I'm saying. It's not like. No, I'm saying, is that like, real? I'm saying, is that, I don't know if that's real or not. I, I get what you're saying, Taylor. This, this is acting, but is it is this acting or is this real? How do you act having sex? How's it acting? Man, what are you talking about? That's all porn is. is this acting. looks like amateur ones. Of my How do you act having no, 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 sex? No, 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 no. What you're saying, Taylor's saying that th- th- these aren't actual sororities. Uh, oh, these oh, are oh, actual oh. people pretending yes. to be. But they really are having sororities. sex, though. This one, this one right here looks like a real, like it's She's amateur. Like, it, looks amateur it looks amateur, though. That's what I'm saying. Gang it looks of real. lesbians eating pussy and getting lit. Oh, man. I was going to say, see, there's no black girls, but never mind. All right. We're going to have one couple of them. Okay, could you right. turn from this? Yeah, yeah. Oh. All right. it was enough. Please. Let me just see how that one. Should have had me down a rabbit hole later, looking at that. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Tyson Fury said he masturbates seven times a day. I don't believe you, Tyson Fury. Who Tyson? How do you have time to do that? I don't that's believe a lot. That. I don't, oh, that's, that's a that's lot. Too much. I don't it's believe too much. that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. You don't, my you God, don't go to Fury. sleep? I love Tyson Fury, by the way. I love Tyson Fury because I love that he's a mental health advocate. You know what I'm saying? And I love that he bounced back from the depression That's that he was in That's probably to help him out there. He need to release You think so? Yeah he you probably think, need to release Maybe mental. That might be it That might keep him Keep him in a happy yeah, state some, Yeah some people smoke weed Some people jerk off That's possible Yeah I can see that I don't believe but Seven I, times like Seven times a, a day lot. is wild bro yeah. How you, you know how much train? sleep I'll get with seven times a day? It's with two Especially I, for guys Doesn't it tie you all out more? Wait, I'm done What? 43 one nut I am done <laughs> God, you ain't even got to worry about it. I'm good. <laughs> one ejaculation. I am out for eight hours. You Damn. hear me? I'm I'm good. When I I'm masturbate good. now, I almost faint sometimes. <laughs> I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. Because I be standing what? up to masturbate. You stand up to masturbate every time. I, I always stagger every time I masturbate now. I, it got to be age. Yeah. 
was worried I'm not sitting that down. That is your base. That's it your balance. Be age, yo. that's, that's your balance, It got to be age. It got to be. You I lose your legs. Like you lose your legs. As soon as you, know, you, you lose your legs. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Like, your co- coach used to always say, we, I, we know when somebody <laughs> having sex, he was like, oh, jack leg. Look at him. He over here jack legging. Mm. Jet Jack Legan. Nah, I'm not with it. I, I know for a fact that there's no way in hell I can match. How, how, old, how old is Tyson Fury? Pull up Tyson's age. Mm. By the way, there's never been a time in life where you nut seven times in a day, bro. Even if you, I have. Even if you with a woman. That's what girls what? do. That's what I'm saying. I can't masturbate like all day if I want to. Girls. That's what girls do. They got yeah, they off of work. You got to get they, back hard. Yeah, you got to do all that type of like, But like, you this. never been the guy to get. So you, you know how to. Oh, that's it? I thought he was much older. I thought he was older. Fuck, he's way older than me. Next time me and Tyson talk, we got to talk about this. You got to talk about his age. <laughs> no, I need to know why he got to be seven times a day. I don't believe that. I think that's he... exaggeration. So imagine if he didn't. He'd look older. What do you mean? <laughs> what? Because you know that's blood that flow through your body. The nut is what's coming out is actually blood. Yeah, it's blood. It turns you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you got all that blood leaving your body, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I guess it's the blood flow is making you uh, fucking young. Yeah. Because if you stop having blood flow through your body, it makes you everything old and stiff. So that blood. Oh no, no, but that, yeah, that's why. That's why hit training is so good. High intensity training, like you want you to jump yeah, around, you want your blood to yeah, flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, if yeah. not, so that's what I'm saying. All them nuts is the blood flowing a lot. That's probably what's keeping his ass young. If not, he probably die. You think so? He look old as hell. Yeah, uh-huh. No, that's that <laughs> boxing that got him looking so old. And he went through a really happen. bad body depression. Salute to Tyson Fury. He got a fight coming up too. He's fighting uh, Dylan White. I forgot when the date is. Okay. I, I can't wait to see Tyson back in the ring. Yeah, no, All right, what nice. else we got, Taylor? Um, that was really it in trending, what we don't care about. All right, well, let's pay some bills then, God damn it, and come back and do some motherfucking asking idiots. You want to talk about Bow Wow and how his comments on the corny guy? You know what? We can't do that. Let me pay these bills for Let me pay this last bill, and then we come back and talk about that. Salute to Tyson Fury. Uh, you heard me talking about Tyson Fury being a mental health advocate, man. That's why I love when Talkspace is a sponsor of the Brilliant Idiots podcast, man. Because in times like these, having someone you trust and love to talk to is more important than ever. But even the best relationships can hit a few bumps in the road. We've all been there, feeling unheard, having the same arguments over and over, or just not knowing how to move forward. Talkspace gives you unlimited access to a licensed therapist so you can clear up the confusion and focus on what matters most, being the person and partner you are fit to be. Okay, Um, y'all know I love therapy. I'm a big proponent of therapy. I want everybody out there, you know, to go get the help that they deserve. Okay, your struggles and challenges are unique. Everybody's struggles and challenges are different, man. But it's time to talk to someone who understands them. Okay, whether you've been married for years, you know, whether you're reentering the dating scene, you know, whether you're a, a, a tramp, you're just trying to get comfortable with being single, whatever it is, talking to a therapist can help. Talkspace even offers couples therapy. So you can work on your relationships with your partner at your side. No relationship is perfect, but with the right tools and insight, your relationships can get stronger every day. It's 2022. Just kiss and make up isn't cutting it anymore. Your dedicated talk space therapist can help you get to the root of your problems so you can work through them instead of ignoring them. Okay? Plus, Talkspace's encryption and added security features keep your conversation fully protected. Join Talkspace today and start the journey to happier, healthier relationships. Just visit Talkspace.com and get $100 off your first month when you use promo code IDIOTS at sign up. That's $100 off at Talkspace.com, promo code IDIOTS. Now let's get back to the show. Um, Salute to Critics of Culture. Critics of Culture is an Instagram account um, started by my guy, Chris Miles. Chris Miles is a young man from Virginia mm-hmm. who I used to stand out in front of the radio station and scare the shit out of me <laughs> because, you know, I have bad anxiety and I have PTSD because I've been attacked in front of the radio station. So anytime somebody's constantly waiting for me in front of the radio station, I'm always expecting the worst. But Chris is just. I don't even know how old Chris was when Chris was coming up here from Virginia, just standing outside the radio station and um. He's a he's 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 a, he's a trap nerd, you know. Salute to the trap nerds podcast, but he's he's just a guy who's just like really in the comics, you know, really in the hip hop culture. Um, <sighs> me and Chris, when when I I wrote a couple of comics for Marvel, the last comic I wrote was uh was Blue Marvel, based off my man Kevin Kevin Griol. Kevin, if I'm mispronouncing your last name, I apologize. That's my man, too. Kevin Griot's Blue Marvel character. 
And um, Chris actually helped me write that. You know what I mean? Because Chris is, I don't... Real talented I, guy. He's a real talented dude, man. And I be having a lot of different things to do. And I had an idea and I told Chris the idea, man. And he, um, you know, he, was it was it that one? I don't know if it was the Blue Marvel one. One of those Marvel comics, Chris helped me write. He's crediting on whichever one it was. Oh, I wrote like three or four cool. different comics for Marvel. And Chris is credited on one, man. He worked and, hard. Um, he always be sending me stuff too. But this guy, like you said, it was at the station for years, really. And just bone. popping up. And he just so... I know he was harmless, but it was like, he was just so like, like he loved what he do so much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he yeah, just yeah. like show his emotions. He's like, ah! Yeah, he'd like, be so, and he'd be hyped. He'd be hyped. He'd be talking to you, but he'd be hyped about it. And you'd be like, all right, what's up with you? Yeah, dude? bro. When we first met, I'm like, yo, bro, what's up with this dude? Like, he just like all over the place. And we like, but he's, now we see he's got a whole lot of talent. He'd be sending me a bunch of stuff too. So yeah, really he's created this Instagram page called Critics of Culture. Let me, let me, how do you, how do you pronounce Critics of Culture? Um, yeah, it's at critics underscore of underscore culture. culture. Go follow critics of culture. He's been sparking a lot of great conversations. Yep. Um, he's the one who who started the conversation of why are the people on this list considered corny? He had Will Smith, Wayne Brady, Drake, Bow Wow, Donald Glover, Nick Cannon, and Logic. Let know, me tell y'all something. I know this is like old, that. but I didn't get a chance to talk about this. I loved the way Shad Moss responded to this. Go scroll down. Let me read what Shad said. I love how Bow Wow responded to this. Bow Wow said, because we ain't beefing with niggas. Because we ain't shooting at niggas. This corny shit got us all the bitches. Don't agree with him using that word. He said, I guess they like this corny shit. Corny, but got all this money. Corny because niggas ain't got pending cases or taking these dumbass drugs that be having niggas looking dumb and talking slow. Corny because we don't promote talking that shit. Corny with all the street niggas buying up my do-rags and brushes and all my products. I'll take corny and rich over having to have a million niggas with me looking over my shoulder, paranoid every day, wondering if the op's coming. We can go anywhere we want. Your favorite rapper can't. Y'all niggas is lost out here. Meet us at the bank. At the Round of bank. fucking applause, Bow Wow. <laughs> Round of fucking applause, Shad Moss. Meet us at the bank. That's that is part fucking I like. growth. Fuck that. He's absolutely right. Yeah. This street shit, this keeping it real shit that we've been glorifying for so long in our culture, that shit is whack. It, it's, it's more of survival though, Charlotte. It wasn't like... No. Yeah, it was, it's more of a giving a blueprint or showing what they've been through. Mm -mm. The problem with the game is that at some point people started getting rewarded for the street shit. Yeah, because they, they either beat it or because of them same people was going through it with them. It was like, it's more of a blueprint. Like, how do you get out of it? You know what I'm saying? How did you get out of it? If you go out of it, and one thing, when I, one of my little mans passed away, is like, uh, in the hood, and I went by the other day, and it's like, when you get out of it, we don't try to go back and show them the blueprint how we got out of it. You're right. The problem I've historically had is that we celebrated all of the wrong things in our culture so much, and I'm, I'm, I'm definitely guilty of it too, but mm -hmm. we celebrated so much of the wrong things, right? And... We never showed, a lot of these people never showed the kids that we're just pretending, mm -hmm. that it was just entertainment. So what happened was a lot of these real street motherfuckers started seeing all of these people pretending and was and like, oh, well, shit, let me My get in on life. this too. So they started coming in, talking about their lives <laughs> in the music and moving in the industry the way they was moving in the street. And that's why all of these motherfuckers got jammed up so much. So to mm -hmm. me, I think about, to your point, the, the negative influence didn't come because we didn't show people the blueprint. We didn't show people that we was pretending. That's why whenever people try to use the rap versus movies argument, you got to push back on that because it's like none of these motherfuckers in movies... I found this on the web. No, none of yeah. these people in movies pretend pretending to be real. Yeah, we know this is fake. We know it's fake. No, Rappers it's pretend lies. to be real. Rappers yeah. is like, nah, this is my life. I live this shit. Yeah, okay. I, I'm really living my lyrics. Blah, 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 this and that. So if, if you're just a young, impressionable kid in the hood who really live in the street life, you think you can get away with this shit. Why, the reason these motherfuckers is on the internet and on social media showing off these crimes is because of the way it has been glorified in hip hop for so long. Some of these motherfuckers think you can do this shit and get away with it. They think you can kill 100 motherfuckers and just talk about it and rap about it and nothing's going to happen. They think they can sell 
32 kilos and get on a record and rap about it and nothing's going to happen. No, if these rappers... two bricks. That's what I'm saying. If these, I, if, I always wanted to do that because of that line. Man, you know how much bullshit hip hop has influenced us? I do? would think in a way that Drake has some more influence of people that, of guys that want to be rappers just not having that street life. No, it ain't Drake. Drake. Didn't. It's Drake, but it ain't Drake. This is where you give Kanye West his credit. Kanye West absolutely shifted the culture. And the moment was when him and 50 went head up mm -hmm. yeah, I remember that. and he outsold guy. Yeah. 50 Cent. Like that was the moment. That was the moment the culture shifted. The culture shifted. The culture was always street heavy, but it became mm -hmm. real street heavy when 50 Cent went 10 times platinum. Yes. That's when everybody was on their Gotta be a gangster. gangster rap shit, like in a mm -hmm. real way. And, and, and 50 had the story to match because 50 mm -hmm. really was Boo Boo from Queens, who was out mm -hmm. here in these streets. You know what I mean? Got like really, and like, everything. Yeah. You can you people from Rochdale, whoever they'll tell you. Like Fifty, I don't know Fifty. I, I I knew people from Rochdale back in the day who used to talk about Fifty Cent from mm -hmm. Queens, Boo Boo, right? So people know Fifty, right? So when him and Kanye went head up, and that type of rap outsold Fifty Cent, that's when the culture changed. And since then. Everybody's got Kanye's DNA. The Drakes, the Kendrick Lamar's, the Chance the Rappers, the Wale's, the Big Sean's, the Kid Cuddy's, the J. Oh, Cole's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, like you don't have to be street in order to sell records. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be street to be in hip hop, which is weird because hip hop wasn't always that anyway. You had your Tribe Called Quest and you yeah, had your De La Souls. Yeah, and, it's you know, more you had, messages. Yeah. yeah, you had artists that had positive messages in their music. You had artists that weren't necessarily street always. Then you had your hardcore rap and your gangster rap. But yes, Kanye West is definitely the influence of the past 12 years, 13 yeah, he's, years, he's, whatever it is. He was with Hov and him. He's just, he had impact. He changed it. Like, even yeah. when you see you see on the documentary, he was the only person on Rockefeller that wasn't a street rapper. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He was the backpack guy, you know? Even though he said he was just using all of them, whatever it was, you just weren't the street guy. Yeah. And, and, you know, for the last 12, 13 years, he caused a whole new wave of of artists. So I do think it's a lot more balanced in hip hop than. um. But what, what, what do you do? Lead on. What do you do when you got these kids out there who's going through this? We can't grab them all. And we can show them things positive, but they still got to live their life. I don't care about how many dare programs I went to. I could have went to the therapy. La, la, la. When I was young, I still had to come there. Unless you take me from my situation and put me in a better situation. Other than that, if I got to go right back there again, then what the fuck? I mean, that's what it is. I mean, it's all about opportunity, man. It's lack of opportunity in our communities. It's, li it's literally that so, simple. So we got to teach them that life in there. Right now, your environment, so that's what they're hearing from the music because they relate to that. I think the best blueprint we can give them is what Bow Wow said. That street shit is corny. No, it is. We understand that. But if you saying that, Bow Wow, because you up there. If Bow Wow's ass was right down there, where I just now seen one of my little mans get killed the other day, Bow Wow would have to be in that right there. I go, go, ahead, let, go ahead, go ahead, let Bow Wow even get a job. You know how, nigga, you got a job now? Look at this nigga got a job. And that's why we got to tell them that, no, you corny. You corny, them guys, yeah. Them guys that's clowning dudes in the hood because they read, because they go to school, because they got a job, bro. But if you there, no. you going to get hit. I'm trying to tell you, that whole environment out there, it is whack and stuff like that. Thank God we grew from it. And this is growth from, I was literally right there. There's nobody that wants to be in the conditions, though, man. They don't want to be. But that, in the hood if that, don't if that's be there, what's the blueprint from them while they there? What do you do when you're sitting right there, when you you can't get a job, and you out there really, literally stuck? That's your house. Unless I could change your house and give you something better, unless I can get you a different vehicle, unless I could like, give you a job and better you, we got to let them live in that and, I, and, and I, handle I it. I get what you're saying. I just guess I guess people got to transcend their circumstances the, the best way they know how. You know what I mean? Because... At the end of the day, yes, you're in those conditions, but you don't have to stay in those conditions, nor do you have to get, get involved, out. nor do you have to get involved in, in all the negative things that are in those conditions that's going to keep you in them conditions. Like, that shit only lands you in jail or dead. The environment. There's literally no other way. Raise like, the law for escaping. You don't think that we escaped, though? Come on. It could have been us right there, too. We escaped that one second that we made that decision. That one decision that we made that second is all this have to do huge. with, like, y'all insecurities in a way, like, growing up. What is though? wrong with you with that word? <laughs> Why do you get so upset? No. Everything is insecure. Can you relax? Because everybody has insecurities, Wes. Right? But you relax. See how you respond. 
Like, you by you being insecure? No, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the fuck are you being insecure about? My pants? But listen. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <That's what> he, <laughs> <laughs> I know ignorance is bliss. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know. No, I'm you saying. You be insecure about When I say insecure, I'm talking about like as when you grow up, right? Um, mm-hmm. You're trying to fit in and everything else. That's what yes, I'm saying. Taylor. Like, do you? Yes, you're okay. absolutely right. Yes. All of that shit is insecurity. I say that shit all the time about peer pressure, right? We talk about peer pressure. There's no such thing as peer pressure. And this is what I mean by that. It's not that somebody was pressuring you to do something. You wanted to fit in. You want to be cool. You wanted to be you down. You want to be with them people, yeah. And you were willing to do any and everything to show these people that you wanted to be down. Or somebody be like, oh, yo, I fucks with him. Just, that's just right. that little word right, right there. That's oh, right. Oh, oh, he that nigga. That's right. Woo, that'll you get you. That's right. Brownie points will get you fucked up. I saw Steven Jackson, man. Steven Jackson from All the Smoke posted something the other day, and that shit was so real. Let me pull this shit up. That shit was so real. I saw him post this shit the other day and I said, man, that's some of the realest shit I heard and I really want kids in the hood to hear this shit, man. Hold on, let me pull up Steven Jackson. It was that Steven Jack, what's, what's Jackson's Twitter? We gotta find a way Hold to on. help change the situation. Said, Steven said, you become a dumb nigga when you risk losing your family and your freedom to prove to a dumb nigga you a real nigga. That's it. Mm. That's, That's all they literally doing. all it is. <laughs> That's all they doing. A bunch of... And we, I hate who people who have to say, I'm a real nigga. Oh, you don't know who I am? If you got to say that, no. <laughs> and you're not real. You're just real stupid. <laughs> Whenever people say they real, especially when it comes to discreet shit, they're just saying they criminal. So you're just more criminal than everybody else. Cool, you're going to get a lot of time. Or or you like you see that you really take care of your, your real dudes is like... Do the cookouts in the hoods and take care of the family. But that's different. That's real. Yeah, that's real. That's that's, that's what we're telling them. That's right. That's real. Jason Having a grandparent. Wilson, Jason Wilson in Detroit is real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Trade Jay, the truth. Trade uh, the truth is real. real. Jay Barnett is real. Those are real people to me. Yes. People who actually go back to their communities, go into these trenches, yes. talk to these kids, try to get them to do better, deal with their traumas, you know what I mean? Teach them that there's another way. Yes. Teach them better than we would talk. A lot of the people who go back, but I just hate when you go back and then they get hit up. You know what I'm saying? They get uh, shot and shit like that. Uh, but that's why, it's another reason why a lot of people don't go back. Because they get shot or you got one of these little knucklehead haters just try to pull them out and try to get them out and not knowing. It's the last time you got to go out and feed them with a long spoon. You got to eventually do it. But you have to go back. You have to figure out some type of way to get them out of it because the ones like us, yeah. Who was able to get out? Some way, somehow, we made the right decision that right day to get the fuck out of there. If not, we made this wrong decision that same day. You know, you, you, you know, here. You know who's gonna figure it out for the hood and help the hood? Who? The corny niggas, <laughs> the corny people. No, those, the corny, everybody no. on that list has the opportunity to help. Yes, but those people. are the ones who ain't going. It's the ones that, and it's real shit. The corny ones that I see ain't the ones that's going back to go help them out. It's the ones that struggle who actually went it's through more of it. The ones actually is the ones that actually go back and, and help them out and try to do certain things. Them other corny motherfuckers, once they get the fuck out of here, they getting the fuck out of here. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But I know, because I know corny motherfuckers who, who made it and just ain't going back to help out shit. Let me ask you a question. With Young Dolph, right? I don't know that much about Ouch. his history, really. Ouch. But I know that, you know, he was a street guy, right? But he gave back. I'm, I want to assume that you he can't. You can't be. help haters, man. But, but I'm saying, though, wasn't he still talking mad shit, though, in his record? So I wonder if that type of, like, if they had to change But their... you'll never know. Some people love that. Some people going to hate that. Some people hate that he probably bought them cookies at that place. You know what I'm saying? Some people just probably hated his cars. But I'm saying, I wonder if it has anything to do with his lyrics where you're like, man, I could shoot him. Like, if he's still talking. I don't do know. Do you know what I'm yeah, trying to say? You never know what people I get what you're saying, but I don't know. I just think motherfuckers be hating. I'm not going to lie. That's the other thing, man. Any type of success breeds jealousy. It breeds yeah. envy, man. You envy. know, And that's the thing, right? Like, you damned if you do, you damned if you don't because you're not real if you don't come around. Yeah. And, you know, if you keep it too real, things like that can happen. That's going to happen. I'll tell you what, though. If, if keeping it real means that I got to be in the hood with you doing the same old <laughs> shit that we've been doing since nah, high family. school, I ain't a real ain't nigga going. no more. Me neither. I ain't real I don't no give more. a fuck. I, I come through... I open my trunk with if I got something in the trunk or something for them, or if I got some herbs or That's I got it. some gummies or something like that. That's it. No peace. That's I'm it. gone. That's it. Cause, That's cause, it. Because for me, the shit that the shit that I do in my community, you know, Monk's Corner, South Carolina, or wherever I'm at, and the things, the things I've done and the things I plan to do, I couldn't do if I was still in there. there. No. You know what I mean? The things that the, the conversations I'm having, like I'm, I'm, like I'm, me, I got things planning, planned with the mayor yeah. to give back. 
exactly. my town. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like it's different. Like, I wouldn't be able to buy the land that I do in the buildings that I, whatever. Like, it's 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 different. So, yeah, man, you gotta let the corny people do their corny shit and and hope that those corny people don't forget hope, about where they come them. from. Yeah, well, it's really just that simple. Since Will Smith, Will Smith was in it, right? Yes. This is why you gotta watch Bel Air because they do this whole, like what you guys are explaining about right now. They do this whole twist on um, Bel Air. About okay, it. that's what I'm saying. Huh? I'm saying this is why you gotta watch Bel Air because they do. Oh, you was looking twist. at the screens. I was waiting for you to ask a question. <laughs> All right, let's do a couple of asking idiots and get the fuck up out of here. Um. Uh oh, I like that. I like that. Oh, Paz 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 Palooza says Lenard. Why do you say word is born? I, I'm not. I'm saying word is bond. Word is bond because your bond is life. Yeah, and you should die before your word shall fail. That's why I say word, word your bonds. It be saying it be sound like you're saying born though, not bond. Word I be saying bond. word is bond. You can say word is born too though. I think. Yeah, nah, nah, word is. Bond. I say word is bond. It's my bond. Oh, this is a good question. Riley Sam 12 says, wanting to have more. Is it elevation or just greed? That is a great It question. all depends on what you want to use it for. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. You want to have it for, I want cars and all this other type of stuff, but you want it to help your peoples and get out of generational curses and stuff like that. It all depends on what you want to use it for. So it can be greed and also could be for, um, you know, whatever other thing you said. And, and it also depends too on, um, you know, what is more. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, what do you want more of? Like, you know. More fame, more money. Yeah, what is it? Like, I, that's what I would have to ask. Like, what do you want more of? Because I think it's natural to want more the more you elevate just because, like, your mind is being open to new things. You people know what I'm saying? Like, Some people get comfortable. Some people get comfortable. Like, I, like, and for me, like, there's a lot of things that I do that always is a stepping stone. And I don't mind the process. I know I... I've been around long enough to know that the process takes time. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's like, necessary. It's necessary. So it's like, For sure. you know, it's funny, right? Because people, there's a lot of things that people will probably see me do in the TV and film space soon, right? But they don't realize I've been in the TV and film space just as long as I've been in the radio yeah. space. Mm -hmm. Years. You know, like there's things that I've consulted, produced on movies and executive produced on like TV shows that people may not even have been paying attention to but i really been like sitting back watching this shit how many like, years you did the kevin hart thing you was in there for how long the kevin hart movie you was in there you was a cop oh the ride kevin along <laughs> <laughs> how you many years ago was you that y'all so been riding along for like two seconds yes he was on ride along yeah <laughs> that was on my first he was talk a cop show. yeah that's i never what, saw ride along <laughs> that's when i had my first talk show with charlamagne and friends actually that the, kevin ice cube and uh tika something were the first first guests when I did Charlotte and Friends so, back yeah. in the day. Yep. Man, salute to Kev. Kev is a person, Kev, Kevin is a great example of that. It's impossible to watch Kevin Hart and not be inspired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because Kevin is somebody I consider like a classmate. Like all the moguls that came before us, like the Tyler Perry's, the Jay-Z's, the Oprah's, like they're not our generation. Mm -hmm. Like, Really Kev like was like a classmate that we was in school with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we saw the ups, the downs, everything. Like we saw when Soul Plane flopped and, and the NBC TV show flopped and Kev had to get back out there and do stand-up. Like that was literally like 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. And we talking about like recently, this was like 12 years ago, Kev was out there doing stand-up. I was at Kev's show and he talks about this in his book i was at his show at caroline's when he did like some crazy number that caroline had never seen he did like 12 shows in a weekend 12 sold out shows and mm -hmm. being at that show you kind of remember like yo yo kevin is has arrived yeah, like in a real cool. way like kevin was the person who i used to see on stage and he used to be like taking everybody's emails because he'd be sending out a newsletter. Oh. So he'd be on the road oh, yeah. doing all of these shows and he'd get all of these emails and he'd send out a newsletter telling people where his shows and stuff are coming. That's why when social media started popping and people was wondering, man, how the fuck Kev get so many followers so fast? Because he already had all these emails. Yeah, yeah. So he'd be like, send out an email, follow me on Twitter. Send out an email, follow me on whatever. And it's just like, man, it's all of these little things that we watched him do. Mm -hmm. So to see him become the mogul that he's become over the past decade, and like just recently he launched um 
the heartbeat. I can't remember exactly what the what the, the name of the venture is, but it's basically a venture yeah, yeah. where he's going to be doing a lot of more, a lot more independent stuff. Like he's going to be funding Dope. movies and be funding TV shows in house. Yo, you know how many creatives that's going to help, yo? You know how many creatives that Kevin knows just need those opportunities that like the industry may not be aware of, but now he'll be able to, you know, put energy behind those things. Or even things with like SBH Productions that we're doing, like, like that's all for intellectual property. Like you think that we're not going to be turning these things that we're putting out on Audible into TV shows and mm -hmm. movies and stuff in the future. Makes like sense. the dude is the dude is brilliant, man. I don't even know how we got on that subject, but I just want to salute Kev because he's like, how did we get on that subject? What the fuck was we talking about? Um, ride along. <laughs> no, we weren't. No, man. I told you you're the cop and ride along. And then what was the question? You were talking about yeah, it was about ride along though. And then you just went to Kevin Hart because it's his movie. What was the question? No, it wasn't ride along. What was the question? It was you were talking about ride along. And that's man, what I hate when you. I don't button shit up good because I forgot what the fuck we were talking <laughs> about to begin with. <laughs> what was the question? I don't remember. I don't remember. It, yeah. You said um, I don't remember what the question was. The greed. Remember the greed. The greed? Oh, yeah, yeah elevation, yeah. Wanting to have more is the elevation of just greed. Yes, yeah. and so Kevin's a good example of that because the more you elevate, the more you see and yeah. you see what's possible. That's all life is about. Life is about seeing what your possibilities are. So if you're a person that believes your thoughts become things, the more you see, the bigger your brain gets. So your mind just starts expanding more. Yeah. And, and you start, and people start, it's weird how it works, right? Because people start having conversations with you and you be like, hey, how you know I'm into that? Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, how you know I'm getting involved in this? Like, people come to you and literally be like, yo, you need to do a movie. Or you need to do this and I'll direct it. Like, isn't that like, and you'd be like, oh, shit. But how do you know that I'm already mm -hmm. in those spaces? Yeah. But people, energy is real. Energy man. is real. And people who know, yeah. know. So it's just like, yes, it's, it's it, I think it's perfectly natural the more you elevate to want more. I don't think that's greed at all. To answer your question, Riley Sam 12. All right. This one or not? I think that's it because I got to get the fuck out of here. I like Sorry, this one. Man. Which one? How do you create meanings that last? How do you create meaning that last? Meaning what? I thought he meant. I have kids. No, I, I thought he question. meant as in, I guess, um, maybe what you're saying, like just focusing on the process and understanding that, like, how do you create meaning? maybe fra like, phrases he means? I feel like it's a word missing, but if he, if he, if he means how do you create meaningful things that last, yeah. then you really got to create meaningful things. <laughs> yeah, no, and I'm serious. I think all yeah. of us know when we're doing some shit just because we're doing it for the moment. Like, don't do things for the moment. Like, uh, you know what? I, I had certain things that I didn't think that was going to jump off good. I just did it. And it just popped off, and I was like, "Oh shit, that's still actually doing good." And certain things I thought was going to pop off ain't going motherfucking nowhere. So yeah, but you wasn't doing it for the moment. I get this. This is the best advice I can give all of y'all: be a wave, don't be a circle. Mm. Whatever you do, don't be a wave. Be a wave, don't be a circle. I repeat: whatever you do, be a wave, don't be a circle. You understand that? Don't ride don't life. Don't ride dick. What you don't say? Ride, so you said, I'm saying, facing time, don't ride the wave. Oh, yeah, 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 wave. yeah, that's it. Surfers just look for waves to ride. Yeah. Don't be the be wave. Surfer, be the wave. Yeah. Sheets, what that's are you it. talking about? I don't know, man. I thought you wanted to end it how we started. No. On some dicks. Bye. As always, if you listen to this podcast and you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs>